What's going on, family? I'm Scrapbook Boxing, Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff Series. I want to continue to examine 100 years of the greatest 150 black fighters of all times, and I came across Muhammad Ali. Now, what can I say about Muhammad Ali that has not already been said? He was born January 17, 1942, in Louisville, Kentucky. He stood 6 foot 3 inches, weighed 188 to 236 and a half pounds. He had a record of 61 total bouts, with 56 wins, 5 losses, and 1 draw. He was trained by Angelo Dundee. What's amazing about Muhammad Ali, he had a two-round exhibition with Ingemar Johansson. Ingemar Johansson was in the 1952 Helsinki Games. And he would take on Ed Sanders in those games, come up short. But he would fight Floyd Patterson three times. He would knock out Floyd Patterson in the fifth round. But he himself would be knocked out in the fifth round in a return go. Speaking of Floyd Patterson, he was born January 4th, 1935 in Waco, North Carolina. He died May 11, 2006 in New Post, New York. Now, Floyd Patterson had the pleasure of meeting him, had the pleasure of meeting Muhammad Ali. Both men had completely different personalities and I thought that was interesting. Floyd Patterson was very subdued and he was very quiet. Muhammad Ali was the quite the opposite. He was in a ring with fighters such as Alex Mitnick. Alonzo Johnson, Sonny Banks, Lamar Clark, Archie Moore, and Doug Jones, Billy Daniels, Henry Cooper, Charles Sonny Liston, and Jimmy Ellis, Floyd Patterson, George Chevallo, Ernie Terrell, Cleveland Williams, Zara Folo, was also in the ring with Larry Holmes, and many, many others who had Larry Holmes as a Spartan partner. And I think that would help Larry Holmes develop the master jab. Now, Ali signed to fight Joe Frazier, March 1971. Fight of the century. Hell of a fighter was Muhammad Ali. He definitely belongs in this list. 100 years, the 150 greatest black fighters of all time. Thanks for hanging there with me. Scrapbook Boxing, Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff Series. All great fights and all great fighters will never be forgotten on my channel. When you look at Muhammad Ali, you're looking at a flawed fighter, but at the same time, the greatest in that division. Now, could he have defeated all fighters? I can't say that he would have. He made too many mistakes for some of the fighters in the past. However, he was resilient, he was tough as nails. He was very quick with feet and hands. So all credit must be given to Muhammad Ali, a.k.a. Cassius Clay, a.k.a. Louisville Lip. Thanks for hanging in there with me. See you in the next video. What's going on, family? I'm Scrapbook Boxing, Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff Series. We'll continue to examine 100 years of the greatest 150 black fighters of all time. Now, we're looking at Floyd Patterson. He stood 5 foot 11 and a half inches, weighed 163 to 200 pounds. Fought from 1956 to 19...